Good evening. The Monroe County Legislature has passed a new law to regulate grease traps at local restaurants. This comes two months after three-year-old Bryce Rayner fell into a grease trap and died. Christian Garzon joins us live tonight from the Tim Hortons restaurant on University Avenue in Rochester where all of this started. Christian? Yeah, Marina, it's hard to even think about what happened just over my shoulder there back in July. A little Bryce Rayner falling into that manhole and dying. Uh, now, Bryce's law, as County Executive Denolfo calls it, will establish new guidelines in the county for restaurants, grease traps, and inspections. Uh, now, tonight, the county legislature passed Bryce's law with full support, and the mother was there. Uh, Bryce's mother was there, was there. Obviously, it was an emotional time for her. She says, well, it's still too late to save her son. She's hoping this law can help prevent future tragedies from happening. A new motion to hold annual grease trap cover inspections, Bryce's Law, passed unopposed in the Monroe County Legislature tonight. Back in July, three-year-old Bryce Rayner died when he fell into a grease trap manhole. In response to that tragedy, the county inspected over 2,400 establishments and drafted legislation. Extremely grateful for not only the outstanding work of our county employees, but also the cooperation of our local businesses. No one wants to see a tragedy like this happen to their family, to the a member of their community. Monroe County Executive Cheryl Denolfo says under the law, restaurants have to make sure their grease traps or manhole covers are secured by a bolt or lock and have a cover of significant weight to prevent anyone lifting it off. Bryce's mother, Tanisha Cullum, was at tonight's public hearing. Very emotional, very, very emotional, nerve-wracking, um, overwhelming. Cullum says she's hoping this new law can help prevent any future grease trap tragedies from happening. It'll never bring my son back, but this is... Bryce is making sure kids are going to be safe from now on, so I'm happy. Now, Denolfo's hoping Albany takes notice of all this. Now, under the law, any establishments violating these new grease trap laws will be uh, given fines or face suspension of permits. Maureen, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. And state lawmakers Harry Bronson and Jamie Romeo have proposed similar legislation. Meantime, a final public hearing on Bryce's law is set for the 27th. It is expected to go into effect in Monroe County at the end of the month.